I'm going to make this quick because I know you guys just want to see the loot rooms. I'm going to explain how this video is laid out. It's split into parts and made, made so there is no waste of time and you can get straight to it. The video is split into two main parts, part A and part B. You can identify part A as these pictures right here. And if the power cell is not there, that means it's part B. Skip to the part in the video that you need and make sure to go check out my channel for the other loot rooms on Bright Sands. Without further delay, here's the video. Alright, so here are the puzzles for you guys. I'm coming into East Collections from the side that's close to uh, the lake and the labs. But one thing you do have to note is that those lasers you just saw and this power node right here are what kind of show you what loot room you're doing, as you guys saw in the intro. But anyways, you're going to take this power node off the top where the evac ship lands and you're going to bring it down here and once you take away that power cell it uh, gets rid of those lasers and then right here just to make your life a little easier a little quicker you're going to take this power node and you're going to just drop it down here and you're going to note that that door is locked and to unlock that door you're going to have to come down here first thing you do is come down here and put this power cell in this, I'm going to call it power note. You see it energizes that wire and then you're going to run back up top. And this door is now able to be open normally, like a normal door. And you're going to take this power note out and you're just going to run it over. And this is where you're going to put all the power nodes. Not just this one, but there's another uh, node for this on the other side of that generator in the middle of the room or whatever that was. So what we're going to do is going to run down here first, or second, and we're going to take this power node. And what that's going to do, it's going to unlock those lasers, or not those lasers, but those shields up there so you can get the last power node. This one's pretty simple compared to the second one. Now you're gonna grab this power node. And when you do grab this power node, it's gonna drop those front lasers. So just keep that in mind. But then you're going to run this one over here with the rest of them. You're going to place it in the last cell. I'm going to call those cells and the blue things the nodes. And now you got the loot room all to yourself. Make sure to close the door behind you. And there you go. Also, another thing I forgot to mention in my last one, or I gave you guys false information about, is that those reactor cores or miniature reactors is dependent on the largest group size on the map. So in my case, largest group size is one, so I got one. But if you see three, you can collect three, but just know that there's a group of three out there. Anyways, this is a really good spot for scrap metal, or not scrap metal, but um, aluminum scrap and hydraulic pistons. Anyways, we're on to the second one. Uh, coming in from the same area, there's the map this time. Shows you kind of where I'm coming in from, the north side. And on this one, the lasers are down. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's this puzzle, so keep an eye out that someone might be in here doing the puzzle, as, the first puzzle as well. That's how you get to the generator room where the cells are. And then the center door this time is actually unlocked. So you can access it normally. Then you can see where the two nodes are for the power cells. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take this power cell. 
this power cell is going to drop those lasers right there. And you're going to be on a timer, as you can hear. But this timer isn't too quick, so you don't need to worry about it. But as you can hear now, um, that door closed behind you and locked. So you're kind of safe in here for the time being. Yeah, then you're going to put that power cell in there, and it'll unlock this side. And then you're going to grab this power cell and just toss it in the middle. Or not necessarily the middle, but in that power cell. Now it's going to lock both shields, so you have to pull out the next power node, run over to the other side, and then grab this power cell. And then what you're going to do with this one is what you should do is drop it close to the door because it's a quick timer with that switch in the back. You put a note close to the door, run to the back, click the lever, and sprint. While you're sprinting, pick it up, and you should be good. Door locks behind you. But as you remember, if you put the power cell in here, the door can be open normally. And that also pulls up the lasers on the front side so you can hear people coming in. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come back, open up the door, and then just transfer the power cells. I like to bring them outside the door because if you decide to take the middle one first, it will bring down the lasers. In this case I do, but I recommend taking this one last because it's just an extra layer of protection while you're doing the puzzle. And you definitely don't want to get caught with one of these in your hand. I haven't yet, but I just hope that it actually blocks the bullets. <laughs> and then just back and forth at this point. I'm gonna put the cell back in here just to bring those lasers back up. But anyways, just back and forth with the power cells. And the loot room's pretty much yours. And like I said in the first one, um, this is a really good spot for hydraulic pistons. And in this one, you're going to see I actually find smart mesh here, which is pretty big for this map. But I think there's only like a couple places where you can actually find smart mesh. Anyways, you hop in here. And now the room's all yours. All you got to do is close that door behind you, which I don't do right away. But there's a the smart mesh. And as you can see, there's only one. The largest group size is only one, according to that one reactor I found. And yep, bearings, aluminum scrap, hydraulic pistons. Now the big thing here is that gun case that you just saw over there. I have actually found, I found a Physic Lancer in here once, which was huge. It was actually at the beginning of the wipe. And then I've also found mana cores. Lots of mana cores. But not in this case, unfortunately. And then you just finish up with your looting, and you're all done. Alright, and anyways, thanks for watching.